Hello, my name is Tier Welling, and I'm going to, and I, I've just finished my, my most recent tarot deck, um, version 40. It's signed, sealed, delivered, printed. It's in a box ready to be shipped out. It's delivered as in it's, it's no longer in my head. It's no longer on the computer. It's actually in, in, in a physical form. So this is what I was thinking. I need to figure out a way to write this explanation down and define it and describe it. Okay, so you have a circle of the major major arcana, which is which is physically signal wise attached to the umbilicus and the temple of Concord and the um, Cura Julii, the basilica, which has had multiple na names. Um, the Temple of Caesar, the Basilica of Julii, the Temple of, of uh, Saturn, so on. And the jail over there. On the jail uh, to the um, north of the Temple of Concord. That's the major key. Now, those buildings the, are where the circles are attached, where that circle is attached. But each one of those uh, cards... The, the card is a runic, um, is a runic character, and the runic characters create, are, are assembled together to create a, um, a Hebrew word, and which is, it's a long, complicated story. With the beast in the pit, and goodness outside of the pit, because um, the, the Hyksos are completely convinced that they're the good ones, and that the the line of Jacob are bad and evil and beasts and horrible and anyway, despite the fact that one culture has a profound history of genocide and the other culture doesn't, guess which ones are the ones that, that do genocide and mass murder on it on a, on the regular, um, practically every day for the last four, five, six thousand years. There's one culture that, that likes mass murder, the other culture doesn't, but the ones that, 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 that like mass murder consider themselves the good ones, and the ones that don't ma commit mass murder they are the, the ones that do commit mass murder, the other ones are the bad ones. So, oddity. So, you have individual, there's individual circles per individual elder food art character. And those circles create the, the you create line connections using the the spine of of Genesis from the pyramids of, of Egypt to um, you, you you use that 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 line that is created by to draw a line from the Judeo pyramid um, down. Uh, to the very dead center of each of the pyramids, all the way down to the to the to the to the um, to the pyramid, it, it's causeway bisects King Solomon's temple. The pep the fourth pyramid from the bottom, it's causeway bisects the table of the nativity. So, and that those those uh, causeways were only built thousands of years before the nativity occurred. So, it kind of in, it does some interesting stuff going on there. Um, one of the reasons why King Solomon's King Solomon chose that well. King David chose the city of Jupiter to conquer and, and make his capital is because of the bent pyramids causally bisected there. That was only built about six, five, six, seven hundred years. Um, I'm sorry, fifteen hundred years before. Um, because the King's uh, bent was about twenty five, twenty three, somewhere, somewhere there, and King Solomon's temple was a thousand B, a thousand BC. So there would be there's a thousand. 1200, 13, 1400 years between the, the two constructions. The nativity was built, the pep in the second pyramid was, its causeway was, um, the fourth from the bottom, was built, um, one of the last to be built, and that one of the last of those to be built was, um, was done 21, 2200 BC, and the nativity occurred. The, the event in the side of the, the cave of the nativity took place literally at the zero mark of the Gregorian um, Julian calendars, which would be zero. So it would be 
21 or 2200 years later. So there's a lot, there's some, there's a time structure element in this situation. With the tarot, you have circles, spheres of individual things. So you have isolated spheres that have a, a directional structure with the the that's the Roman Forum West. The Roman Forum Middle would be the the Temple of Caesar of um, Temple of Venus, which would be the court. And the Temple of Venus, which would be the court. Um, there's it's both in a circle itself, as well as has each individual each individual person. The page, the knight, the queen, the king, wise one. Each one of those people has an individual sphere by themselves. But they're also, each suit is um, a sphere that has directional the directionality. There's a center, down, up, left, right, back, forward, and then destination. That's, that, that's a, um, that's a, a, Elder Futhark defined as a, as a eight. A, E, E, A, TT. A E. I, ooh, I'm just, my dyslexia hit, hit hard. A E T T. Um, as opposed to the, um, to the, 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 the genus, um, spine causeway, causeways of the pyramids in Egypt, which is literally the Aten of, which is a monotheistic deity of about 4000 BC. That was included into the pa into the Egyptian pantheon centuries and millennia later, but that's not not important right now. So you have each of the suits is its own eight, a e t t, and there's five suits. Although the tri the suit of tri, which is the equal is the equivalency of dawn and dusk or um, Indian summer and Groundhog's Day, that that that. That, that dawn dusk time, um, the suit of pentacles goes right in the middle of that time, or the season of winter goes in right in the middle of that time. So you have the suits are a sphere. The individual card of each suit is a, is its own sphere. The court is its own sphere, both suit wise as well as. Individual, the person, the 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 court, and then the suit are each individual um, spheres, and then you have the sphere. The, then you have a separate sphere of the suit and the separate sphere uh, suits them, uh, as a circle of, as themselves. Think of it as the Colosseum, which is at the end, which is the eastern portion of the Roman Forum. So you have the the circle of the year. The, the Colosseum, which is actually, which its primary purpose was not to be a gladi gladiator arena or a theater. Its primary purpose was to be a, a electromagnetic wave radio telescope to send and receive el electromagnetic images, uh, electromagnetic waves up and down from whatever. If you put, compare a the compare cross section of the Colosseum with a modern satellite dish and the Bose wave radio, there the engineering is spot on identical. So there was a lot of sound waves coming in and coming out of the Colosseum, and the Colosseum the the actions of the gladiators and the crowd was obviously some type of a of a sound. Um, amplification situ situation, as in they wanted to to broadcast sound out, uh, broadcast EM waves out, broadcast the the soul across to, to the other side. They used the Colosseum's amplifier and receiver to to achieve that those goals, which is which is a, a weird thing to think about all by itself. But there's a lot of there's a lot of quantum physics spherical data. And equations built into the into built into the into these functionalities and, and these structures. So apparently, the ancient Romans, 
copied the ancient Egyptians, the, the, the Old Kingdom. The Old Kingdom, their primary deity, since they spent 300 years building it on a global scale, was the Aten, and um, the Aten is, is, a, is, is a radar array, mechanically. So you have some interesting stuff going on in this situation, but, you, but each individual aspect of the, um, of the Tarot of the Roman Forum, by the way, the, the Romans did not build the Roman Forum. It was, that was pre-built. Shocker. A guy who's willing to kill his brother to, to sacrifice, to human sacrifice his brother to, to allow him, him to have more power on his first day of being king, being whatever, Romulus, um, his words can't be trusted. Ha, oh, wow, shocker. Imagine that, not being able to tr trust someone who, who literally seeks out to kill their brother is not trustable. Hmm. Um, he did not build Roman a day. That's pure fantasy. Delusional, schizophrenic fantasy. Uh, the city of Samhain had been in existence for thousands of years and had a huge population hundreds and hundreds of years before Romulus was born. So um, there's, some, there's some stuff with that. Of course, then there's also the legendary stuff regarding them living, uh, uh, surviving their momentum mori ceremony um, birth and uh, conception and birth, which means that they, that made them the sons of Hercules, which is a long and complicated story all by itself. And you have the you have them escaping the city of Albalanga, which was a city of pillars in the mouth of the of the Tiber River, which is a a which is a engineering for, fortification and functionality structure that was copied in Venice, in London. In Boston, and in um, the in what well, and where I'm at is the is Whatcom County. The there was a copy of copy of a copy of a copy of Venice, which was a copy of a copy of a copy. Um, Carthage, the city of Mem, uh, uh, Memphis, um, Heliopolis, so on. That there was a copy of that city structure in the mouth of the Nooksack. Um, which was called, which was actually the original uh, Castle Bellingham, which was destroyed, and um, the a secondary auxiliary campus for the uh, for a lot like um, downrange, a lot, a lot of military uh, military facilities have a downrange or some or uh, a um, an aux campus where they do very some sort of stuff. Well, cat. Fort Bellingham is that Ox campus, and um, uh, the, that's pretty easy to look up on Google Earth. Um, just Fort Bellingham, Washington, um, Welcome County, Washington State, and um, although, interestingly enough, that the land is still considered a military reservation, but the military but the military has no interest in in renewing its interest in there, so the land is still owned by the U.S. government for very various and assorted other political reasons because the land actually is, is was seized from the British culture, but there's an issue with trying to give the, Brit the, the British culture back their land because there's a whole issue with the, um, the English government and the 16, 1700s, early 1800s, there's an, there's an issue with that situation that the English government refuses to acknowledge the British government, and they've been in exile for the last several centuries, and they can't. The American government can't give it back to the to the British government because the English government um, refused to acknowledge the British government is in is in existence or is in ex exile. That they are not Eng British, they're not British. The British are British, and the English are English because the British are Trojans, and the and the English are Romans, and the. And the Roman culture came directly from the descendant culture of Ag Agamemnon at the Trojan War. I wonder why the Trojans and the and the culture of Agamemnon have a, have a bit of a problem with each other. Um, the word genocide come to mind, and um, but the Agamemnon was was a Dorian that was a, a step off culture from the from the Avaris Hyksos, that is a step off culture from. Um, ECU himself, 
which is who was the brother of Jacob of, of Jacob, who was the um, he was the father of the Jews. So there's a lot of things going on, layers and layers of situ situations going on. One of the places that the old kingdom evacuated to was Italy, was the the city of Samhain. That this infrastructure of the Tarot came from, and they when they brought their mathematics, their culture, and their information from Egypt to Rome, well, what would become be called Rome in, in multitude of centuries, actually more than half a millennia after the Trojan War, um, all the Tro well the city of Ilia fell. It's actually the city was actually called Ilia. The Tro, Tro the word Trojan is actually a pretty heavy duty insult. Um, and the, um, so you have the, the Egyptians, the old kingdom brought their culture to that, to the city of Samhain and they built the infrastructure and the Romans came behind afterward and did everything they could think of to absorb it and to destroy the old. So there's a lot of, if you, if you take each individual section of each individual building and section of the, the Roman Forum, uh, west, center, and e central, and east, um, those bu each building is designed to reflect a specific equation sequence, and how you interact with that those buildings is how is an, is a very strong aspect of string theory, um, a multi-dimensional, multi-layered, multi. -layered, multi multi -dimension, layered dimensional sequence of of information that's that's going on there so all kind of really interesting to explore thank you so much please hit the subscribe button and the like button and the bell to let you know when new, when new video com comes up so thank you so much